guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first for me. I am going to be doing an anti-haul. Um, these videos can be kind of awkward because I feel like people take a huge offense if you don't like a product or if you're not interested in a product and it's something that they absolutely love. But at the end of the day, we all have different wants, different needs, different skin types, different tastes. We're all just different and that's totally okay. So please don't take offense if you have these items, if they're on your wish list. These are just my opinions and how I feel about them. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you see me looking down, I do have some notes. I have my phone right here just to kind of remind me of price points and all that good stuff. I think the first product I'm going to be talking about is kind of a given. I feel like this is probably on everybody's anti-haul no-buy list right now. That is the Kylie Jenner brush set. Where do I begin? To me, this is more than just the price. It's the fact that her brand is an e-commerce brand and you can't try anything. And when I say you can't try anything, it means that if it doesn't work for you, you can't return it. She has like a no return policy. So there's no returns, no refunds, no nothing. Um, some of the newer stuff she's come out with, again, like these brushes, her concealers, these are more of a concern now to not have a return policy because you really don't know if, for example, the color is gonna match or if you're even gonna like how the brushes work. Now, now, I did order the concealer. I kind of want to stay away from that right now because that's not really what this is about. I want to focus on the brushes. So the price is a factor. I believe for the entire set, you are paying 300, I think it's like $360 for all 14, 15 brushes or something like that. And to me, that's just it's just a little too high, especially for a brand that has, you know, kind of median price range price points. I know that she's saying that these are luxury brushes and she wants to bring you the best quality brushes and all that, but there are so many brands out there that make brushes that are literally half that price. For example, the brush set that I just reviewed on my channel recently, which I will link that up here, um, the Delium Tools, you can get a 15 brush set for $140 and they are amazing brushes. I know that she compared herself to the likes of like Mac, Kevin Daquan, Laura Mercier, some of those other ones, Marc Jacobs. And it's like, I get that you wanna be like in that realm of things, but I think that you just have to kind of establish yourself a little bit more before you can throw out those kind of prices. Now again, that's the beauty of, you know, living in a free market. If you don't like these brushes, you can go find some that are cheaper and look just like it. That being said, I will definitely not be buying any of the Kylie Cosmetics brushes. All right, so let's move on. I want to move into some skincare items. There are two. The first one I want to talk about is the Too Faced Glow Job Peel Off Glitter Mask. Hmm, where do I start with this one? First off, it's $42 and I have no idea really what this is supposed to do. You know, most masks are going to say they're going to hydrate your skin. Okay, me personally, from experience, most cosmeceutical masks sheet masks, most that I have personally tried, really don't do a whole lot. I have felt some immediate hydration from masks like this, but it's nothing that's really long lasting or really shows a giant improvement in my skin. To me, this is just very, very gimmicky. That's really the only thing I have to say about it. I just can't picture myself paying $42 for a peel off mask. I just can't. I want something that's really gonna do something to my skin personally, like the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, one that peels off and it's actually trying to extract something on a surface level from your pores and, you know, shrinking your pores and all that stuff. I wanna, you know, I personally wanna visibly see something changing in my skin when I use a mask. So for this one, to me, again, I think it's just straight up gimmicky. If you tried it and it has done wonders for your skin, like I said, let me know. But this is one I will not be buying at all. Next one I wanna talk about is from Glam Glow. These are the Power Ranger masks. Again, this is just something that seems kind of gimmicky to me. I believe that this is like one of the same masks that they have in their line. They just changed the colors and slapped Power Rangers on it. I just, if you love Power Rangers and you love Glam Glow, I get it. Obviously, we all like to have collectible things and things that represent stuff that we love and have, you know, influenced our lives in one way or another. And then when a cosmetic company comes around and does that, I get it. To me, it just seems again like a gimmick. All right, moving on. Um, This one I actually was on the fence about, not necessarily on the fence about buying it, but really how I felt about it. I have watched some reviews. I know that you can't 
watch a review and say something is one and done, you're never gonna try it. But the Fenty Beauty Ultimate Red Lipstick. No, this is $24 for a true red lipstick. My Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce red lipstick is a true long lasting red lip so that that stuff stays on your lips through eating. It doesn't crumble off. It's not patchy. It is absolutely wonderful. It is $4.99 at the drugstore and it literally looks like the same exact color. Um, so if you're interested in the dupe for that, the Missy and Fierce shade from the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lips is a total dupe for this lipstick shade. It's the perfect red. It is universal on every single skin tone. To me, $24, $24.99 for this red lipstick, again, is going to be a no. I feel like there are just so many other affordable brands. ColourPop, like I said, Wet n Wild, Rimmel, Maybelline, L'Oreal, they all make very true red lipsticks that will last just as long, if not longer, and look just as beautiful. So this one is going to be a pass. All right, so next item I want to talk about is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. I don't necessarily have an issue with the colors in this palette at all. I just kind of discovered that highlighter palettes to me are just a little bit unnecessary. I have the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlighter kit, glow kit, whatever, and I absolutely love it. But at the end of the day, I still find myself only reaching for like the same few shades in there. I use about half the shades in that palette. And it's not because I don't like the other ones. The other ones are just, the ones that I use are like everyday shades for me. I love them. They work with my skin tone. They're just my ride or die. They're what I choose. So when I look at this one, one. The color scheme just really isn't for me. You've got like a kind of rosy darker pink, a deep peachy rose gold, and some that looks like a little bit more on the white pearly champagne side. The color scheme just doesn't really speak to me. I don't picture myself reaching for this. I don't know. I kind of just picture something a little bit more intense. If you hear the name like Metal Crush, I think of like very like silverly that I can't talk. Something very silver, very gold, something very rose gold, something along those lines. This looks like it's kind of like pastel-y or something. I don't know. Again, it's just not for me. Pass. And another highlight I want to talk about is the Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. Now the shade of this looks absolutely stunning. I cannot deny that. But I think, again, it's just kind of like a gimmicky formula type thing. This is $40. $40 for one highlighter. I just cannot get past the price of it and the fact is I just, I don't know, I just, I don't look at it and think, oh my god, I have to have this product. Is it very different and unique? Yes, it is. I will give it that. I just, again, can't picture myself, A, paying $40 for one highlighter, and B, I think the formula is just kind of off-putting. It looks kind of gross to me. I don't know. It looks runny like snot and phlegm or something. I know it's disgusting. Sorry to paint a bad picture of it, but yeah, no, just no, it's just not for me. And then last but not least, I want to talk about the Kevin Aquan Electro Pop Pro eyeshadow palette. Yes, I'm looking at my phone for this one because that is a long name. This palette, you get 12 shades. It is $57. $57. Price aside, let's just talk about the palette itself. Does it look beautiful? Yes. I do like the idea of it, Electro Pop. I think that the feel of it, the palette itself, the color scheme, it looks beautiful. A, it's a whole bunch of shimmers, and B, NYX Ultimate, NYX, yes, it's the NYX Ultimate Finish Eyeshadow Palettes. They're like those little square ones. Let me show you one. I have one. These palettes here, now I don't have the one that's a dupe for it, but they do make one. I think there's two different ones that they make that have all of those colors in it, and these are $17.99 a piece. You could literally get both of the palettes that have kind of like those electric, electric metallic, electric pastel even like shades in it for under $40. So you get both of those palettes, you will get 24 shades for less than that Kevin Aquan one costs. And I can guarantee that the NYX ones will probably work just as well. I find those palettes are incredible from what I've tried. The same amount of shades in each palette and literally for a fraction of the cost. So again, I just think that there are cheaper options out there that are going to work just as well. And then last but certainly not least, I want to talk about the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foil Finger Paint Shadow Palette. So in this palette, you are getting five shades for $39. Again, to me, the price is just like what the hell? Some of their palettes with like a ton of shades in it cost $39 or less. And it just, 
these shades have already been done. Actually, one of my Boxy Charms a few months ago, um, when I was subscribed to Boxy Charms still, came with that Blink brand shadow palette and I wish I could show it to you guys but I literally just gave it away because I never used it. It literally has all of these like pretty much all of the same exact shades with the exception of the stargazer shades that are on the side there where you see it has like the white like the split circle it's like a white shimmery and then like a black glittery one i mean that does set it apart i i personally haven't seen anything like that i'm not gonna buy a 40 dollar palette for two shades like i'm just not gonna do it the packaging is extremely stunning i love the packaging but the other colors in it they're all in my jaclyn hill palette and that entire palette cost me what is it 32 38 dollars for the jaclyn hill palette so i get an entire palette with all the same shades and more obviously for less than what this tiny little Tarte palette costs. So this one again is going to be a pass. It's just repetitive. I feel like these colors have been done before. You've got like a gold shimmery shade. You've got like a deep cranberry shade and then you've got a deeper more chocolatey bronzy brown shade. I could literally pick out like five palettes right now that I have in my collection that already have those shades in it. This one will be a pass as well. All right, you guys, so I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, again, leave me a comment down below what you think about this. No offense to anyone who wants these items or owns them. It's just how I feel. I feel like they're just either not worth it or just don't speak to me on a level to the point where I feel like I'm going to go out and buy it. I do want to address my fingernails. They are awful. They all decided to break. Um, literally all my nails are broken so I had to like trim them down super short and my polish is peeling. I realized last night that I ran out of nail polish remover so this is my project for tonight. Again thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day night wherever you are and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!